Elise, thank you. Your local news continues on CBS News, New York, our digital platform. I'm Mary Calvi. CBS Mornings returns in just a moment. This portion of CBS 2 News is brought to you by Ray Moore and Flanagan. Esto es CBS Nueva York. CBS Mornings, I'm Gail King. Coming up in this hour, hip-hop icon Master P. This is his first conversation since the tragic loss of his daughter. He's hoping that opening up will help others. I'm Tony DeCopo. Wildlife rescue workers say injuries to marine animals like seals can often be avoided. The reasons many get hurt and how you can help. I'm Nate Burleson. Actress Alicia von Rittberg is here talking about her role in the show Becoming Elizabeth, what it took to play one of history's most iconic queens. She said she learned a couple of things, but first, here's today's eye opener at 8. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, okay? New evidence bolsters the case that former President Trump chose not to try and stop the violence on January 6th. Donald Trump's conduct was a supreme violation of his oath of office. President Biden has been diagnosed with COVID, but he's only showing mild symptoms. I'm doing well. I'm getting a lot of work done. Stop! Video showing a violent arrest after an alleged traffic violation spurs outrage in Tennessee. You see this stuff happen all the time, and the fact that it happened to me is really mind-blowing. The dollar surpasses the euro in value for the first time in about 20 years, so now might be a good time for that trip across the Atlantic. One man's misery is another man's happiness. <laughs> yes! Having fun! <laughs> we need more babies. And the future is looking bright at our Nashville affiliate WTVF, where meteorologist Heather Mathis brought her baby on set. There's a hiring crisis. We're bringing in all ages, right. training new talent. Oh my God. <laughs> Can we go to commercial break with more giggles? Oh, my God, that there's, laugh. There's nothing like a baby's laugh, right? To That's make how you get good. those ratings up right I know. there. Maybe <laughs> giggling. Do it every time. With simple things like oh, ripping man. a piece of paper. That's I great. Know, Congrats sweet. over I'm there. I'm sorry I left Eloise list. at home this morning. Yeah. I could have brought her in. Come on, Tony. All right, this weekend, it's hot out there. People are going to be heading to the shore, to the water, oceans, lakes, and rivers, just looking for some relief from that heat. And while you're there, you may run into another animal that lives there. Marine life sightings is what they're called. It's an unexpected thrill of the trip. But what happens if you encounter a sick or injured animal? The federal government, believe it or not, works with more than 100 organizations all across the country to respond to those calls for help. And CBS News' Michael George recently saw firsthand how that process works, and he even got to watch the release of some healthy seals. Michael, good morning. Tony, good morning. Now.